What is going on everyone? My name is Chris Vincelli. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna discuss when you should consider moving out of your parents' house. When is it appropriate? When is it time to move out of your parents' house? I made a video about why you should leave your parents' house, why you should move out. You can check out that video right over here. Many of you like that video, and I've also been asking, when is it appropriate to move out? When should I move out? So in this video, I'm gonna discuss the top five signs you might wanna be on the lookout for when deciding if it's time to move out or not. And I'm not gonna waste any time, I'm gonna dive into that right now. All right, the first sign that it's probably time to move out of your parents' house is that you're just craving more privacy, more freedom, and more independence. If having your parents around where you live is kind of cramping your style, if it's getting in your way, well, it's probably time at that point to consider moving out. If they're all up in your business whenever you're going out, you know, if they're asking you who are you meeting up with or what time you'll be back, or if it's just simply hard to bring people over, bring over friends or bring over significant others because you know, your parents are gonna be around the whole time, then yeah, I would say at that point, it's probably time to consider moving out. You just wanna live your own life without having to provide an explanation or justification for doing what you wanna do. You wanna freely go about doing your daily activities, your daily routine, without you know your parents being in the way, without having to think about what your parents might say or think of you, and that's a natural thing. You know, as an adult, you are naturally gonna crave more privacy, more freedom, and more independence. So if you're starting to feel that way about living at home, if your parents are getting in the way of things and cramping your style, then it's probably time to move out. Okay, sign number two that it's probably time for you to move out is when you and your parents start arguing a lot. Let's say, for example, you're just trying to study or do some work and your parents are distracting you by being loud. Maybe they got the TV on loud or something. Maybe you and your parents get upset a lot because you're being distracted from what you need to do, but you can't do so because your parents are getting in the way. So naturally there might be some conflict there. You might get into a few arguments over how you need to do what you need to do without your parents getting in the way. Or maybe your parents are getting mad at you because you're not really doing what they want you to do. You're not really fulfilling what they had in mind for you. Maybe your parents didn't like it that you got home late last night. Or maybe your parents don't like who you're hanging out with. So if you're having a lot of arguments with your parents, that's probably a sign that, okay, it's time to move out. It's time to have your own independent and private life. I'm not gonna say that arguments with your parents are gonna stop the moment you move out, but I will say that if you are arguing a lot and those arguments tend to surround the fact that you're still living at home for one reason or another, then it might be a good time to move out. All right, sign number three that it's time to move out is when you got a job. If you're making your own money, I'm sorry, there's no excuse. You should be living on your own. And I know what a lot of you are gonna say. You're gonna say things like, Chris, uh, I can't afford to move out. My job doesn't pay me that much. Or Chris, have you seen apartment prices these days? They're astronomically high. I say too bad. Find a way to make moving out work. You're gonna appreciate the independence and the privacy. And yes, maybe you're not earning a lot of money at the moment, but find a modest accommodation that fits within your budget. And look, if you can't really do that, maybe the thought of you moving out can encourage you to seek out a better job or get a promotion where you can earn more money. But yes, if you're a productive member of society, if you are earning your own money, you should not be living at a home with your parents. You should be moving out. You should be living on your own like an adult. Sign number four that it's time to move out is when your commute to work is too long. Maybe your job is located in the downtown in the center of the city, but you and your parents live all the way out in the suburbs and therefore that makes commuting to work very, very long. Well, in that case, I'll say, listen, you should probably move out and move to a place that's closer to where you work. Having a long commute sucks. I feel like long commute times suck the energy out of you at the very beginning and at the end of the day. So if you are working and your commute is too long, consider moving out of your parents' house, move somewhere closer to your place of work. All right, I got one more major point that I wanna go over, but before I do so, I wanna let you know that whether you've seen my content before or if this is the first time viewing one of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. 
so you can be notified every single time I come out with other great and similar content. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash that like button. YouTube likes it when people like my videos. It helps with the algorithm. So go ahead and smash that like button. And yes, I am on Instagram, so feel free to follow me there too. All right, sign number five that it's time for you to move out is when you're an adult, but you don't have basic adult life skills. And that is, you don't know how to cook. You don't know how to clean. You don't know how to do the laundry. You don't even know how to make simple repairs around the house. That's a sign that you have not developed basic life skills as an adult, and that needs to change immediately. One way to change all that is to force yourself to acquire these skills by doing it all on your own. Living under the shelter and care provided by your parents is nice and all, but it's not realistic and it's not representative of how you're gonna live for the rest of your life. You need to acquire basic life skills if you wanna have a successful adulthood. So you're better off learning these skills as soon as possible. So if you're in your late teens or early 20s and you don't have these basic life skills down, it's probably because you're getting spoiled by your parents. And that's not a good thing. And the best way to acquire these skills at this point is just to essentially force yourself to learn it on your own. If you haven't learned these life skills while living under your parents' roof, you're never gonna learn it that way. So get out of the house, live on your own, and force yourself to learn. But what do you think? Have you noticed any one of these signs when considering whether it's time to move out or not? And for those of you who are thinking of moving out or have moved out, what were the things that made you wanna do so? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And did I miss anything? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. And like I mentioned earlier, whether you've seen my content before or if this is the first time viewing one of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I come out with other great and similar content. And if you haven't done so already, smash that like button. It helps me a lot, so go ahead and smash it. And yes, I am on Instagram, so feel free to follow me there too. Thanks everyone, talk soon.